kind of in rough shape. in good shape. That's cute but dirty. That's just an apron bottom. It's missing the rest of it. Missing the ones. It's got a chip on it. A single shaker. Just the creamer. So it's almost like that compo is oh, I'm gross now from touching it. Looks like that compote's the best piece, but yeah, it doesn't go for a whole lot. Oh, what are you? Somebody else tried taking the sticker off. And didn't see anything. Hmm. I still have some drip wear left from the last time I picked some up. So I'm probably going to hold off on that. Especially if it's unbranded. A lot of companies use that. That particular glaze. So it's hard to pinpoint who actually did it. That sucker's heavy. Right there, sorry. That sucker's heavy. Yeah. Get back in there. All right, so that was a little disappointing. So not only did I only buy one thing for $4, it was a white left and holly sleigh, which I mean, they're not very high dollar items to begin with. Um, I didn't realize until I got out to the truck, I was so worried about looking at all these little edges on top to make sure that they weren't chipped that I didn't look on the very inside and see that big round crack. So I just spent $4 plus tax on something I can't sell. Oh well. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. <laughs> well. So today I am out at the Phoenix Community Garage Sales out in um, central New York. Uh, Phoenix is a little town that's north of Syracuse. Um, tiny little town, but the community garage sales are fantastic. Holy Toledo. 
So uh, I stopped at, it was kind of an accident. I didn't even realize the community garage sales were this weekend. Um, but on Thursday, I had the boys with me and we were driving around and I saw that there was a garage sale out near my in-laws. And so I went to that garage sale, found some amazing stuff. I, I'm so excited about it. So much vintage Christmas, a nice vintage Christmas. Um, don't get me wrong. I'm definitely hoarding a few things, <laughs> but there's, I mean, I got an aluminum tree and for good prices. So they said they were doing it all weekend, but they're going to have more Christmas stuff out on, on Saturday because this was Thursday. So I was like, yeah, I'll come back out on Saturday. So came back out on Saturday and they're like, yeah, you know that the rest of the town of Phoenix is doing their garage sales today, right? I'm like, I didn't realize that. So I'm like, yeah, go down to the church in the middle of town. They have the whole parking lot full. All right. <laughs> so I just wandered through that. I showed you a little footage of me walking up to it and I found some blue putter, boo, <laughs> blue butter print Pyrex. I found some federal bowls to go with my set. I found more vintage Christmas. I found enamelware. Good stuff. Oh man. I just, I just spent a lot of money very quickly. <laughs> so I'll have to show you everything uh, when I can get a chance. So I will see you in a minute. Okay. So you'll have to uh, excuse the noise in the background and also my lack of landscaping in the background. Um, we're kind of gearing up for something big right now, but you'll hear about that more later. So right now I am showing you the haul from the first garage sale where I found where I went on the Thursday and again on the Saturday. So the first day I was there, I got this four foot aluminum tree. It has all the pieces and the original box. So don't get me wrong, it's not in perfect shape. Like you can see there's like I think two branches that are missing some of the foil and the foil's a little disheveled. It needs some love, but it's together, it's up and everything is there, including the pieces of foil that have fallen off. They're in the box. So, I mean, that's amazing. I will say I spent total for everything between the two days, $95 at this garage sale. So also on the first day, I picked up three Christmas trees. I picked up this one, this one, and this one. And on the second day, I picked up that one and that one. <laughs> so these are fantastic trees. As you can see, that one in the back with all the yellow has the holly base. This one has a star base. And then the last green one and both the white ones have these tall pedestal bases, which I mean, all the trees themselves are the same size and height, which I believe they're, I wanna say 12 inches. And then with the bases that adds a few, I might be underestimating. But with these pedestal bases, I want to say they're a little bit more modern because they have the metal on the bottom to kind of act as like a heat protectant below whatever you have it on, but I'm super happy. I have five trees. Um, I also got these two like tacky plastic Christmas wreaths. Um, I got this Santa blow mold, which I do have the plug and light for him but I don't know how safe that plug is but he is in not the greatest of shape after doing some research on him it turns out that he was a part of a display where there was two reindeer pulling a sled and he was standing in the sled or sleigh, sleigh. so when you look at his feet you can see that there's remnants of the bracket that was used to hold him onto the sleigh and his boots are in pretty rough shape. I mean, that's black electrical tape. But, I mean, he has a great look to him though. 
Um, so let's see. So first day was the aluminum tree, three ceramic Christmas trees, and the two wreaths. Second day was two Christmas trees, the Santa, this box of fun, and this silver plated bell. This is a 1972 Wallace Silversmith Bell. These, depending on their age, condition, and if they have the box, can go anywhere, depending on the year, between $25 and $500. Well, I think the highest one that I found was $475, but you get the idea. So, this one being the 1972, it's a little tarnished, but overall it's in very good condition with the original box, which is in fair condition, or well, okay condition, and it has the insert. I can expect to get between two and $300 for just this bell. And that's not even looking at all that fun stuff. I mean, the tree goes between two and $300 each of those Christmas trees. I mean, I'm, I'm estimating around average a hundred bucks a piece. Um, those, uh, eh, maybe 30 bucks for the pair on the high end. Him, 20 to 30 bucks. Sorry for my toes. But, um, let me get situated a minute and we'll go through this box a little bit. Okay. So on to the box of goodies. So, First things first, I have these four plastic lace bells. Uh, you can tell they're, it's two pairs. And I'm pretty sure the mistletoe that's inside of each of them uh, was added later because none of the mistletoes match. <laughs> and they're all attached using, um, twist ties. <laughs> so I don't think they're original, but I really liked the look of the bells. And so I made sure to nab them. I, um, first off, I'm going to start that I have no idea the value of anything in this box right now, other than it's really cool and I couldn't leave it behind. Um, everything else, else I got from this garage sale more, if I were to sell all of it more than pays for what's in this box. So, I'll, basically, I'm just going to figure it out as I go. Honestly, if I sell just the bell, I'm doubling my money, minimum. <laughs> so, I'm not super worried about that nothing's, like, super high-end in this box. But if you see anything and you're like, oh, my God, Colleen, like, you, you need to know what this is, then be my guest. Tell me what it is. <laughs> All right, so four bells. Uh, this tree is not particularly old and it's covered in in hot peppers. I'm not sure why. Yeah, see, made in China for $1.99. Uh, we'll see if I keep that or not. I'm definitely not keeping the decorations. They're just not my jam. This guy is cool, but oh man, he's rough. But I mean, again, can't leave him behind. This guy is super sweet. I mean, look at him. He's got the foil on the, on the sleigh, which is actually like a foam board. And it's held together with, with pins. So, I mean, that's really cool. This guy, I mean, his hat's messed up, but he's got a great face. And he is, I just, I love these felt decorations. Again, he's in rough shape, but, and the bottom is a bit torn. It might've continued. Oh no, it's, it's cut as a banner. Okay. So he just needs, he just needs a little, maybe steaming or something to lay him flat. And then there's the cute little Santa. He looks probably from the eighties. Don't know the exact date on him, but he's cute. All right, now this is, let's see if I can find the edges to this, because uh, this is kind of cool. I think this was at the top, no, okay. More mistletoe, that's what was on the top. 
These people like their mistletoe. It's a Santa mobile. And he's got holographic eyes. They're not googly, but they move. Look at him. Oh, it's so crazy looking. <laughs> and um, so it looks like the, there's one that was focus, one that was missing on the end there, but he's right here. So I have all of the Santas from the mobile. Oh no, you're, you're tangled. <laughs> I can't do that one-handed. All right, I'll deal with you later. All right, moving on. This, I think it was attached to the mobile. Got a little candy, I believe. Santa ornament. This little girl. Yeah, I think she's by herself. Some more mistletoe. Man, they were, there's lots of mistletoe. This is kind of neat, a little kind of silk fiber optic. I believe this is a maybe a tree topper or just a hanger. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to do more investigating. And then, oh, yay. Okay. In this bag, you see, some things were personalized, and that's kind of tough. So, Cindy. That's a really cute angel. Oh, she's the Napco. Look at that. I mean, again, everything's in rough shape. Like, they, it was not stored well. From what I understand, this family went through a lot of, a lot of loss in a very short period. So things just kind of got tossed around for a while, which is really sad. I felt really bad for the guy. He lost a lot of family. He's cute. Made in Japan. Look at that butt. <laughs> Cutie. I think that's the only elf I got. They had more, but they were sentimental and he wanted to keep them. Which, I mean, I completely understand. Cute little peacock. It's in very well shape. This boot, I tried to leave it behind, but he kept on tossing it in the box. I'm like, I guess I'm taking it. <laughs> There's some more of these boots. Maybe I'll put them all in that bag. Yeah, let's do that. Put all these boots in that bag. And there's a little hat for something. Put that aside. Hello, you're not particularly old. You look like made in China to me. But you're cute. There's another one. Another boot. more of those Santas. Oh, and there's a rocking horse. Oh, another one of those basket mistletoes. One of those is attached to the bottom of one of the bells. Oh, that's a neat little bell ornament. Oh, there's more paper in the bottom. I didn't see that. This guy, he's in kind of rough shape. I mean, I might be able to make him a little bit more presentable, but kind of is what he is at this point. Oh, here's another angel. Is that a question mark on her? Oh, that's, that's a little creepy. Set that side. Oh, another Napco. Oh, this one's not personalized. Oh, here's another one. Rosie. I wonder if it was for pets. Oh, well, this one's kind of neat. It's actually a centerpiece to put on a table. Um, little angel girl. I know there is an elf one in here too. I saw the elf one. Oh, there's another candy ornament Santa. Some more mistletoe. I think this actually might have fallen off of this bell. They match. All right, so I'll keep those. Hold on to them. The little elf man. Here he is. So here is his bottom. There's his bottom, and here is his top. So he's pretty cute too. He just needs some some love. Let's see 
what else do we got here? We got a fuzzy lion. Oh, Santa. I'll scooch you over. Now, the Santa does have a bit of damage on him. But he has a stand. His belt needs some help. But overall, he's in pretty good shape. Not bad. Let's see. We have... Well, you are attached to a star. I'll need two hands to untangle you. But you're pretty... I mean, when you were new, you were probably super cute. But uh, you're, when you're dirty, you're a little creepy. Just saying. Sorry. That's where all the styrofoam came from. That's unfortunate. I don't quite know what this is. Is it a... I don't know. If anybody knows what that is, comment below. And there's a horn. Lion on oh, you are also disintegrating. Yeah, there you are, disintegrating. Uh, you, huh? I mean, you don't strike me as super old, but I mean, what would want to chew on you? Which makes me think you're a weird type of plastic. I don't know. Different. Here's another foam boot, a styrofoam boot, which is also disintegrating. Oh man, there's a lot of more of these boots. Put you in the bag. Oh yay! All right. I love these. I love these. You're probably staying with me because I think they're awesome. My mom had one when I was a kid, and it's just been one of those things. I'm assuming this is a door hanger? Hmm. All right, this bag is empty. I think that's what had the elves in it that the gentleman set aside for himself. Oh, something made a nest in you. Ew. We'll set that over there. Along with these little, I'm assuming these had to be pets. There's an awful lot of them, and I know this guy didn't have that many siblings. Maybe they were friends. I'm not 100% sure what's going on with this star. It's interesting. But I know that the lady said, oh, these are foil. That's neat. This is like a thick... Yeah, it's like a plastic lined foil. Merry Christmas season greeting. Happy New Year. They did say that they had a bunch of New Year's decorations. Now this one looks modern. Yeah, your card more modern. I'll set you over there. some bells. Oh, I wish I could find some dates on them. They're pretty neat. Oh, here's some more New Year's stuff. It's Father Time right there. I'm sure there was another one with a baby. And that's the bottom. Oh, you know what? I think I know what's going on with this star. I think they were immigrants. I think that's what that star means. All right, that does it. So let me grab out the rest of what I got from the other garage sales on Saturday and see you in a minute. Okay, so this is all from uh, the rest of the garage sales I went to from the community sale. So I spent $95 at that one sale and I, this is 103 on the rest of the sales. But I, uh, I bought a lot of stuff. So I threw in the towel at about 10.30 a.m. So <laughs> 
yeah sorry the camera cut out right there but yeah i had to stop i had spent a lot of money at this point i had a lot of stuff and i'm trying to be a little bit more picky in what i'm buying uh as well as um i have a lot of inventory right now that's not listed so i need to work on that too so even though it was very exciting i just i needed to go home <laughs> All right, so the first thing I have sitting here is a pair of Federal Bowls. Uh, they're mixing bowls with lids. Uh, this lid is a little uh, creamier color than that lid, so I'm going to try and figure out why that is or if it's just kind of part of the mix that they were doing that year. But it's funny because they are, uh, they are a um, nesting set, and I do have these. All right, so my phone keeps on cutting out, so I think I'm going to have to make this short and sweet. Um, so I also got this brass uh, globe. We're going to be keeping that. Um, I got this pile of enamelware for super cheap. I couldn't say no. I still have to sort out what each individual, individual piece is worth. I got a mix of more vintage Christmas. And I want to make sure this is definitely recording for this last part. Okay, first off, there is this Pyrex mixing bowl set in the butter print in blue. It's three bowls. It's missing the smallest of the set. But these three, as they sit, go for approximately 150 to 175 And this set here with the bunnies. All right, so last thing, this set here with the bunnies. This is the Kensington Bun uh, Garden Rabbit series from 1987 from Fitz and Floyd. Uh, this is by no means the whole set, but it's some interesting pieces. Um, I have bought and sold that picture before. And that picture goes for approximately $50. This teapot also goes for approximately $50. This I believe it's a cake stand or a sandwich plate. I'm not 100% sure, but it's super cute. Um, typically would go, I wanna say, in the $75 range, but that little bunny has a broken ear that has been repaired. Now, the most exciting piece is this guy right here. This is has been described as a planter or a jardinier. This bunny is really hard to find in that series. So, this bunny, the last time it sold, went for approximately $200 back in 2015, I believe. So, I'm expecting great things from you, my friend. <laughs> All right, so that does it for my garage sale haul. If you like this kind of content, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.